Cassie's dad is a character first mentioned in the Ruin DLC, and it's heavily implied he's the protagonist in Help Wanted 2. It's further implied that he's also the Bonnie bully from Five Nights at Freddy's 4. For this story explanation, I'll be discussing my interpretation and speculation of the story based on the hints the games have provided. Since with Five Nights at Freddy's, the story is more vague, so I apologize if this doesn't line up with any information in future installments. In Five Nights at Freddy's 4, William Afton's youngest son is bullied by his older brother Michael Afton and his friends, one of which is seemingly Cassie's dad. Cassie's dad, along with Michael and his other friends, lift the crying child into Fredbear's mouth, where Fredbear bites down on him, killing the crying child. After this, Cassie's dad becomes irrelevant for most of the series. Ruin lets us know that he collected the Freddy and Friends and Tore lunchboxes, and that Bonnie was his favorite character. But outside of that, not much is known about him. It's also implied that Cassie's dad is Jeremy, the beta tester from Help Wanted. I'll explain why I think this later, but for now, let's just roll with this interpretation. Jeremy works at Silver Paracel Games, the company that's making a VR game for Phasma Entertainment to repair their reputation. Phasma Entertainment sent the game's development team vintage circuit boards to speed up programming. This resulted in the creation of Glitch Trap, a digital anomaly within the VR game. It seems like while beta testing the game, Jeremy encountered Glitch Trap and was possibly infected by him. Jeremy reported having night terrors, and he started acting strange. An employee known only as Tape Girl documented the game's troubled development. She notes that sometimes when Jeremy is testing the game, he looks like he's talking to someone, presumably Glitch Trap. One day, Tape Girl finds a Halloween mask on the floor of the development team's office, with something that looks like ink around it. Jeremy's in the VR booth, with more ink covering himself, and the VR headset is covering his face. When Help Wanted first released, many people thought that Jeremy had cut off his face with the paper guillotine that Tape Girl had mentioned earlier. But due to a detail in Help Wanted 2, I don't think this is the case. The Halloween mask might be Jeremy's Bonnie mask from Five Nights at Freddy's 4, and Help Wanted 2 gives us a possible explanation for the paper guillotine, but we'll deal with that when we get to Help Wanted 2. Sometime around this, Cassie is born, and it's worth noting how similar Cassie and the Bonnie Bullies designs are. They both wear rabbit masks, a red shirt, and blue pants. In my opinion, this is definitely an intentional design decision to connect these two characters, and implied that the Bonnie bully is Cassie's dad. Before Glamrock Bonnie's death, Cassie's dad worked at the Pizzaplex and never told Cassie what happened to Bonnie. Not too much is known about Cassie's dad's job at the Pizzaplex, but he had a Faz wrench, so it's likely he was a technician. A Faz wrench? It's just like my dad's. At an unknown time, Cassie's dad leaves a note for Cassie, saying he'll be gone for a while. Since he worked as a technician, it's possible he knows the animatronic's strange behavior, or the Mimic 1 program messing with the Pizzaplex, and went to investigate the sinkhole where Glitch Trap was. Regardless, in Help Wanted 2, we play as Cassie's dad. I made a Help Wanted 2 review earlier this year. Check it out if you want to hear more about this amazing game. After Security Breach, Cassie's dad is inside the pizza place underneath the Pizzaplex. Cassie's dad has an AR mask stuck to his face, trapping him in the AR world. Eventually, after playing the employee training levels, he receives a faz wrench and is able to open up a room in the pizza place, which contains an AR inhibitor. Deactivating the AR inhibitor allows him to take off the AR mask and reveals the real pizza place. Something interesting to note is that in the real world, Cassie's dad steals digital hands, and Mystic Kippa points this out. Do you ever look at your hands? I mean, really look at your hands. It's possible that when Cassie's dad went to investigate the pizza place, he was killed by Glitch Trap and his ghost was contained in the air world using the Vanny Mask. If Cassie's dad is actually dead and now a ghost, this would explain how he can affect the real world while still being trapped in the pizza place. For example, in the final Roxy Salon level, Cassie's dad gives Roxy her mask, which we see in Ruin. So it's clear that the real world is affected by Cassie's dad. Candy Cadet is also in the real world. He tells a story that's similar to Jeremy's story and Cassie's dad's role in Help Wanted too. Now let me tell you a story about a young woman who, when she was little, was led into a dark forest by a witch, and almost eaten. She had fallen for the friendly voice without discernment, and was led astray. She had escaped before being thrown into the oven, but would have a scar for the rest of her life. When she had grown, she sought revenge on the witch, and entered the forest again willingly, this time with the confidence of age and experience. She was greeted at the mouth of the forest by a young boy who offered to help guide her through the darkness. She welcomed the help, and followed the young boy over the river, through the jagged trees, and toward a small house. Come the boy said, press here before killing the witch. The young woman was tired, and would kill the witch in the morning. She followed the boy into the house. The oven door closed. The witch would finally have her meal. 
The story is very similar to Jeremy's story and Cassie's dad's story. Jeremy was seemingly infected by Glitchtrap and injured using the paper guillotine, leaving him scarred like the young woman, but he still survived. Years later, Cassie's dad slash Jeremy seems to have returned to stop Glitchtrap, but he's tricked by Helpy and is finally killed, which parallels the young woman returning to stop the witch, but being tricked by the young boy and finally eaten by the witch. We'll come back to that ending later. This Candy Cadet story is why I think Cassie's dad is actually Jeremy. No other character fits Candy Cadet's story except Jeremy. While Gregory and Vanessa encountered Glitchtrap, both of them are still alive, unlike the young woman in the story, so that doesn't really fit with either of them. Jeremy on the other hand encountered Glitchtrap and was hurt by him, fitting the young woman having a scar. We also very clearly play as Cassie's dad in Help Wanted 2, I'll explain why later, but the young woman being killed by the witch fits with Cassie's dad being killed. So since this story fits with Cassie's dad and Jeremy, it's likely they're one of the same. Regardless of Cassie's dad's well-being, he plays a role in both Help Wanted 2 endings. In the Princess Quest 4 ending, Cassie's dad collects the memories of Afton's victims and plays Princess Quest 4, where he gives up the AR mask to help Vanny defeat Glitchtrap. In this ending, you can find a secret old Bonnie mask in the style of the original Bonnie. The protagonist says the mask looks familiar, and the achievement for finding it is called Lost Luggage. All of this implies that the mask belonged to the protagonist, which heavily implies they're the Bonnie bully from Five Nights at Freddy's 4, since they also wore an older Bonnie mask. It's also worth noting that a lot of Help Wanted 2 achievements are Bonnie themed, strongly tying this game back to Cassie's dad. The achievement for completing all levels in the game has the Faz Wrench as its icon, again tying this back to Cassie's dad. A Faz Wrench? It's just like my dad's. In the Help Trap ending, Cassie's dad listens to Helpy and collects all the Faz Force action figures. Blitztrap's hand emerges from a charging pod in a reference to Burn Trap, and staff bots swarm Cassie's dad, seemingly disassembling him. The game then shows the perspective of Maskbot, a character in Ruin who gives Cassie the AR mask. In Ruin, when viewing Maskbot in the AR world, he appears more organic than the other animatronics, implying that Cassie's dad has been trapped in Maskbot and forced to give his own daughter the AR mask. I also made a Ruin review. If you want to know my thoughts on the DLC, go check out that video. Most people believe that the Princess Quest 4 ending and the Help Trap ending are both canon, and a detail in the game reinforces this. If you play Princess Quest 4, then activate the Help Trap ending, Helpy will disappear from the game and this only occurs under these specific circumstances, leading me to believe that this is how the story is meant to play out. Cassie's dad helps Vanny kill Glitchtrap, but then he listens to Helpy, who is heavily implied to be a small fragment of Glitchtrap's code. The fragments of Glitchtrap's code that lived on in Helpy infect the Vanny mask and forces Cassie's dad to give it to Cassie. In Ruin, Helpy has orange eyes like the Mimics, signifying that they're working together or that he's under the Mimics' influence. Glitchtrap is heavily implied to be the same AI program as the Mimic, so Helpy working with the Mimic makes sense. Helpy assists with shutting down the Mexus security keeping the Mimic trapped, and in the DLC's ending, the Mimic is released from his prison. This is simply my interpretation of the story judging from this detail. It's fine if you don't entirely agree with this or anything else I've said in the video. If you're interested in Five Nights at Freddy's, I have more videos of that on my channel. We also have a variety of videos coming out on our channel. Subscribe if you don't want to miss those. If you want to support our channel and fun future videos, consider donating to our Ko-Fi. Thanks for watching, and check out some of our other videos.